Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it's meal prep day. I'm really excited for this meal prep. To be honest with you, it's probably the favorite one I've done in a very long time. I have breakfast, I have lunch, and I have a dessert. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell's turned on, because we do a meal prep every Monday, and I do upload five videos every single week. I will link my recipe website at the top of the description box for you. That's where you'll find all of today's recipes. I'll also add nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend this is how I've lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability or if you have questions or want to talk with me directly links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group we'd love to have you so let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep I'm making chia lemon and strawberry zucchini muffins. This just screams summer fresh ingredients, fruits, even a pop of veggies. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need flour. I'm going to use the Kodiak Power Flour. Like I've mentioned in the last few meal preps, this is actually discontinued by Kodiak. We don't know why. I'm guessing maybe not a good seller, but you can actually make your own protein flour. Down in the description box, I will put the recipe. It's very, very, very simple. That's what I'll be doing once this is gone. One of my lovely subscribers sent me several bags, so I do have quite a few on hand. I like to use Use this because it's flour with protein so it just helps increase the protein in recipes speaking of protein I'm going to use some Fairlife milk unsweetened applesauce salt a fresh lemon one medium zucchini chia seeds strawberries sugar-free maple syrup a baking a soda and an egg so to make our muffins the first thing we're going to do is add our dry ingredients to a bowl so I have one and a half cups of flour one teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt stir that together until all those dry ingredients are fully combined I'm going to kind of squeeze my zucchini to get rid of any excess moisture before adding it into the dry ingredients. One third cup of Fairlife milk. One third cup sugar-free maple syrup. One third cup unsweetened applesauce. One egg. I have about a cup of cut up diced fresh strawberries. Two tablespoons of chia seeds. And then we're going to zest a lemon. We don't want any lemon juice, we just want the zest. That lemon smells so fresh and good. We're going to mix this all together. This is the batter for our muffins. Go ahead, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Grab your muffin pan, add a muffin liner, or spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. So I have my muffin pan sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to use a large scoop and scoop my batter into the muffin pan. We want 12 muffins total. We're going to put our muffins into the 350 degree oven for about 20 to 22 minutes or until they're baked through. The muffins are out of the oven and these not only smell amazing but look absolutely beautiful and like I said we have zucchini hidden in there strawberries chia seeds I'm going to go ahead and allow these to cool pop them out of the muffin pan and I'll be back to share points calories and macros so here are the muffins I'm telling you I am pretty stoked for these what a healthy muffin that's just full of flavor I will go ahead and put points calories macros here on the screen for you my plan is of course to pair this with some type of protein For my lunch this week, I'm making a chicken burrito bowl. I want to have a protein packed, 
healthy carb bowl for lunch. Bowls are really my go-to only because they're really easy to put together. Great meal prepped items. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need some shredded chicken. You can of course cook your own breast, shred them up. I just buy my white meat shredded chicken from Sprouts. It's zero points. It's only the white meat. You'll need two large avocados or three small. This is the Kojita cheese fresh cilantro, a red onion, rice of your choice, I'm going to use jasmine, grape tomatoes, and salsa. So I have my rice cooking in my Dash rice maker. I love this thing, I share this a lot. It's a go-to for us. You can buy it right off of Amazon, I'll link it down below for you. I have one and a half cups of dry rice, three cups of water. So for the chicken burrito bowl, I'm actually going to go ahead and put one together. I'm gonna have that for lunch today. That way you can see what the completed bowl looks like. Then I'll package up all the rest of ingredients of the ingredients, show you how I'm going to store those, and then each day I'll just put together my chicken burrito bowl. This is really smart because everything's prepped, ready to go. It takes two minutes to throw together the bowl. So first thing is one half of a cup of cooked rice. I'm going to do four ounces of cooked shredded chicken, some red onion, cherry tomatoes, some fresh salsa, an eighth of a cup of Kojita cheese, and then chopped fresh cilantro. So there is our chicken burrito bowl. This looks so incredibly delicious. Again, I'll package everything up and I'll show you how I'm going to store it and then I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. I almost forgot, we're gonna add some avocado to the top, but I will actually do that right before I eat it. So everything is ready for me to assemble the bowls when it comes time for lunch. So we have my tomatoes, salsa, Kojita cheese, avocado, I put my diced up red onion in a little baggie, my cilantro's in a reusable Ziploc bag, my pre-cooked ready to go chicken, and then I actually just store my rice in the cooking container from the Dash rice maker in my refrigerator. So the recipe makes six bowls so you have enough for the entire week. I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I am making a blueberry peach crisp. This is the perfect summer dessert. Fruity, light, very excited. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need rolled oats. Again, flour of your choice. I'm using my Kodiak protein flour. Lots of blueberries. You could do fresh or frozen. Sugar-free maple syrup. For this recipe, I'm actually using the Lakanto cinnamon maple. I like this a lot in crisp recipes because it brings a little bit more cinnamon to the table. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off for you. And then this is actually Lakanto granulated. That's the sweetener that you'll need. Need light butter, sliced almonds, vanilla extract, cornstarch, cinnamon, three fresh peaches, and some salt. So the first thing we're going to do is put together the fruit portion of our crisp. So I'm going to add two and two cups of fresh blueberries to a large bowl. And I have my diced up peaches, two tablespoons of sugar-free Lakanto syrup, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. And then mix that all together. You just want to make sure your fruit gets coated in the vanilla, the syrup, and the cornstarch. And then we're going to set this aside. Now we're going to add in half of a cup of flour, a quarter cup of sliced almonds, half of a cup of rolled oats, and half of a cup of Lakanto granulated, a pinch of salt, and some cinnamon. And I have four tablespoons of chilled light butter. I'm going to add that and then just kind of cut that in to the mixture. We wanna make a crumble topping for our crisp. I went ahead and sprayed an eight by eight baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add in the fruit mixture. Kind of spread that out over the bottom. I do have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. And then we're going to add our crumb, our crumb mixture right on top. We're going to put this into our oven for about 45 minutes. If your crumble starts getting brown, you can cover it loosely with foil. So the blueberry peach crisp is out of the oven. This smells 
even better than the muffins. It literally smells like a decadent bakery in here. I am really, really excited for this. You could top this with whipped cream, ice cream. You could eat it as is, put a little extra cinnamon on top. I will go ahead and put serving size points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. Don't forget all three of today's amazing recipes are on my website. My website is linked at the top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, if you're not part of my Facebook group, definitely come and join us there. I hope you enjoyed this week's meal prep and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.